I'm Beth Henches and I am an Associate Professor of Psychology and I'm going to be um, introducing you to how we do book orders and use UHCL email. Um, faculty can order books uh, on a link provided on the bookstore webpage called uh, Faculty Resources and it's on the top right of the page. The link may be found in the text below this video. Um, the faculty resources page on the bookstore is not the same thing as the HSH faculty resources webpage. Um, so be sure to go to the bookstores link to order your books, not to the HSH page. Um, for advice about book orders, you can consult your department chair. Uh, your chair can provide copies of syllabi from previous instructors uh, for your reference and can put you in touch with people that have taught the course previously for any additional information. Um, it's a good idea to check the bookstore's website to make sure that the book that you want to order um, is available um, and that the editions haven't changed. If you want a desk copy for the book, you'll have to do that directly through the publisher. Different publishers have different rules for how to order desk copies. Um, and uh, if you need any assistance, again, you can work through your department chair. Um, another important aspect of your work is going to be using your UHCL email. UHCL email is the university's official form of communication, both with faculty and with students. So it's important that you use that email and not your personal or business email to communicate with your students and others on campus. Please encourage your students to use and check their UHCL email as well. Messages you send through Blackboard or Faculty Center will by default go to the student's UHCL email account and messages that they send to you from non-UHCL email accounts may get caught up in the spam folder. You can route your UHCL email to another provider, such as Yahoo or Gmail, um, but it's important that you know that if you reply from those emails, you'll make that email address, your personal email address visible to the email recipients. Um, it's also probably useful to provide your students the instructions on how to route their UHCL student email to a personal email account if they choose to do that. Um, instructions for routing UHC email to a third party provider are provided below um, in the links after this video. Uh, finally, we ask that your email signatures not include any material that may cause offense, encourage controversy, and suggest favoritism for a particular political affiliation, way of life, or personal belief. You'll want to avoid political statements or endorsements, scriptures or other passages from spiritual texts, logos from entities other than UHCL, and any other such materials. If you wish, you may use the UHCL logo in your email. The use of the UHCL logo is governed by the university's Office of Marketing and Communications, for savable images you may use in your email signature, see the link below this video. And welcome to UHCL.